Spider-Man Remastered. Yeah, it's great. It's a fantastic game. The PC port is fan. It's amazing. I love it. Anyway, let's say you want this game, but you're out of the country. You know, you're traveling for work or pleasure and you want to get this game in the right country because, you know, for example, I live in Mexico. If I buy games in Mexico, they won't be able to be played in certain other countries. It's something to consider. So, you know, if you're in a country that doesn't have the same pricing scheme as Mexico does or whatever your home country is, then you want to make sure you're buying it in your country so that when you go home, you can play. Now, you can technically also use this method of changing the store's region to get games cheaper. Some games in Mexico do get priced a fair bit cheaper. For example, I wouldn't recommend it. It's a good way to get banned. My main account has over a thousand games and... Um, yeah, d don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Now, normally how the, your store region gets changed is you don't even have to go to your account details or your store preferences, none of that. You literally just have to go to a game, add it to your cart, and buy it. Whatever country you're in will be updated to be the store for that country if you use a payment method from that country. I do not have any American payment methods, so I will not be buying any games here but I will show you how you can trick Steam into thinking that you're in your home country so that you can buy your game for the right region. What you need is a VPN. A VPN is an app that essentially directs all of your internet traffic through another server, you know, in the country of your choice, to the internet at large. In this case, if we pick an American server and use an American payment method, Steam will reset our store preferences to use the US pricing and that sort of thing. Once you have it downloaded and installed, there's a tutorial for that in the description, you just need to pick your server. ExpressVPN has servers in over 90 uh, countries, about 94 countries really, and yeah, that's a lot. You're almost guaranteed to find a server in the country where you need to buy your games. So I've picked the US in this case, it's my usual go-to, I live in Mexico City, and that's done. Uh, you may want to restart Steam, which I'm going to do real quick. And here we are back in Steam. You might notice, however, if you go to account details that my store is country is still set to Mexico because remember, you have to make a payment first. And if I want to, you know, my set my store to the US, I have to make that payment with an American payment method, which I do not have. So I cannot show you the full process. I apologize. But that being said, it is quite simple to do. And if I paid for this with an American credit card, or an American um, PayPal account for that matter, I would be able to change my store region. It's that simple. If you want proof that Steam is seeing me as in the United States, this is what all browsers and all apps think is going on with me right now. They think I'm in the US. So that is it. That is the entire process. Again, do not use this as a life hack for getting cheaper prices on Steam. It's a good way to lose all your games because the one big downside of using these digital storefronts is that the games aren't really yours anymore. They belong to Steam. And if you mess around with Steam's terms of service, you that you could have all your games taken away, essentially. And that would be bad. But for making sure that Steam handles things, you know, when you're just traveling abroad, for example, or temporarily living somewhere else, then, you know, this is the way to do it. All right, that's about it. Do check the links down in the description because we will have a discount link for ExpressVPN, which can help you get your first purchase of ExpressVPN a lot cheaper. And, you know, that's something to keep in mind. And there will also be a full review of ExpressVPN down there with all of the details about it, all of the tests we've run, all of the services we've unlocked, all of that stuff. Now, before we go on, uh, may, please make sure to uh, like and subscribe, hit the bell notification icon for this video if you find it helpful and useful, because, hey, it would help us out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. I had fun making this video. I hope you had fun watching it. This is Ezekiel Bruni, signing out.